Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 27th of February 2023. Uh, I am reminded that today is Anosmia Awareness Day. I'm reminded that from my, <laughs> my Facebook uh, alert told me I had memories to check out today and I posted in previous years uh, about Anosmia. Uh, anosmia, uh, a word that became well known uh, a couple of years ago during the um, pa COVID pandemic uh, for the um, loss of smell uh, and it became a symptom associated with COVID. But uh, I found out about this term for the first time. I'd never heard of it before. Uh, going on 10 years ago, something like that, I suppose it is. And I found it out because um, I actually got... Uh, anosmia and uh, it's been a permanent thing with me uh, ever since and I had never heard of uh, anybody losing their smell before it was a weird thing for me I didn't think it was possible I'd never heard of any I'd never heard of it just simply never heard of the term before never heard of the concept before it was an entirely weird thing to me so actually when I started to lose my smell my sense of smell um, I didn't really understand that it was a thing I thought I was imagining things or it was just it, it couldn't actually be true until I finally realized that I couldn't smell things and I was getting fake smells as well and then I had to go to the hospital to find out um, what was going on, saw a specialist and um, and uh, yes, uh, unfortunately uh, with me there was no known cause. Now with most people it's something like catching a virus, could be like uh, COVID. Fortunately for most people who have had anosmia from covid they most people it has been temporary um so they've managed to get their sense of smell back and i'm very glad for you that that's happened uh with a few people it may be a, a long-term or permanent thing but certainly viruses it, uh, catching a virus is one way of getting uh, anosmia um, another thing can be um, TBR, traumatic brain injury, a knock on the head or something like that, serious accident or something like that can cause it to happen, which is very sudden. Mine came on over a very slow period of time for months and months. As I say, I think this, is, this must be nearly 10 years ago. I don't, I don't even know the exact date or anything like that anymore. Um, but uh, So I hardly noticed it. Um, but uh, it's, uh, you know, it's the loss of a sense, and uh, that's not a good thing, I can assure you. Uh, I'm pretty much okay with it most of the time, but there are people who suffer uh, terribly. Um, it You know, uh, a few years back, I was on Facebook support group, uh, help, a Facebook support group helping, trying to help uh, people who were um, severely affected by this, you know, like um, feeling suicide. I mean, people do actually commit suicide, uh, tragically, um, just because they can't bear, you know, to uh, um, not have this sense anymore, especially, particularly, I think women are affected, you know, complaining they can't smell their baby and things like this. It's a very strange and weird thing. Um, and um, so... Uh, February the 27th has been appointed as Anosmia Awareness Day. So if you know anybody with a, uh, uh, with Anosmia, um, you know, give them a bit of a hug or something if they are feeling down. As I say, I most of the time I, I, I'm pretty much OK with it. I've really come to terms with it. I, you know, I've kind of accepted that it's that's how it is. And, you know, there's not much I can do about it. I, I have had lots of investigations and stuff, but there really isn't doesn't seem to be anything that they can do. And uh, as I said, most of the time it's okay, but sometimes things do get you. The other day, there was a comment from Georges about uh, small strawberries being, you know, like the best, a particular type of small strawberry being the, the best, the best tasting and that kind of thing. But that, that actually made me quite sad because uh, obviously when you lose your sense of smell, you also lose a great deal of your sense of taste. Uh, now, I do actually, I can taste sweet and sour and salty. I, I get those tastes. But to be honest with you, not much more than that. So I can kind of identify it, uh, those kind of things. But really, nuance has gone. And I kind of have to use my eyes sometimes and memory to imagine food. And, and I'm also very 
polite. I'm a polite person in general, but, uh, you know, when people say, oh, isn't this food good? And, you know, how do you think? And I say, yeah, it was really good. And sometimes I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going, yeah, it's great food or whatever, but I actually really don't know because I, I, I can't judge because I just have, I don't have that sense of taste uh, properly anymore. So that's quite a sad thing. But anyway, uh, if you feel like donating to a charity, Google an anosmia charity near you and, uh, you know, give some money for research or whatever. Um, hopefully uh, the, the only good thing that happened uh, during the, <laughs> the, 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 the silver lining, I should say, not really a good thing, but the silver lining was that during COVID, because it became such a common thing, people did become aware of it. I mean, as I say, I'd never personally, I'd never even heard of it until I got it. Um, and um also, uh, money was generated for research, which is always a good thing. Um, so maybe there will be a cure for it at some point in the future. I, I think not a panacea, though, because uh, there are so many different reasons why it seems to occur. I don't think there's going to be a simple uh, one-size-fits-all cure. But anyway, well, you know. Let's never give up hope, <laughs> he said. Actually, hopeless that I'll ever uh, be able to smell again. Uh, but, but just before I start playing, the worst thing, I, I, the worst thing, I the, 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 couple, the couple of things that are really terrible for me, uh, coffee. I really, really miss the smell of coffee. That is such a wonderful smell. I, I, even better than the taste of coffee is the smell of coffee. Freshly ground coffee. I love that. Loved it. And now I sometimes just imagine that I can smell it. <laughs> and weirdly enough, humans, human beings, uh, strangely, uh, the smell of human beings, I miss a lot. That's a, you might think, ooh, <laughs> but I promise you, uh, if you don't have that smell, that sense of smell, it's, a, it's something that's really a, a sad thing. Right, let's get on with the game. Uh, you know what it is, Los Angeles Times expert level game regular for this channel we have ones blocking like this here's a one uh, any more happening with the ones Ooh, a nice pair of ones down there get ones down there as well zipping across there um, too many places there okay let's just keep going in order see if we can find something nice and quickly threes across here yes that's gonna put a three into that there square Three's going up here and across there. It gives me a three there. Um, four across here and down here. There's a four. Could be some useful sevens down here, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, so eight, eight blocking across here. Uh, sorry, eight. I mean, eight blocking these three squares and eight blocking this square is what I'm trying to say. That's going to give me an eight there. Eights across here, and here, and down, and up. Gives me an eight there. Nine across here gives me a nine here. Uh, missing numbers here are um, two seven. We've got seven blocking here. There's a seven. There's a two. Seven's going up to the top there. Gives me a seven there. Uh, 
we're going to get sevens like this. <laughs> yes, one of those symmetrical patterns again. Okay. Uh, do anything else on the twos? Twos are over there. They're going to be down here somewhere. We've got twos across there. Okay, missing digits from here and here. One, five, I think. Uh, what's going on in this middle? We've got sevens blocking up here. We've got sevens in those squares. We've got ones that I noticed before. So we've got ones here. We've got sevens there. What else? Uh, oh, okay. We've got nines blocking across here like that. Okay, so we've got seven and nine here, actually. Seven and nine. Any? No. Nine, nine, nine. So this has to be... Uh, one five, we've got five blocking here, here's the five, here's the one, then w that will give us a one at the end here. One up here, one across here and across here, there's a digit one, one down, these two columns and across here, here's another digit one and we'll be left with ones. Uh, oh no, there's, oh no, we're talking about ones across here, hey, 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 come on. One's down, one's across, and here, there's a digit one. That's the final digit one, okay. Uh, right, now what? So we've got our seven and nine here, but I don't think it matters much. So that means these two squares are going to be five and six. Five and six, let's see, six is... Uh, no, don't really know down here. Fives. Um, no. So look, um, oh, hang on, look, there's fours down here like this, I've just seen. See, uh, yeah, I've got a number selected, but I'm actually looking at something else. Uh, now we need a four in this section here, don't we? We don't have four here, so we've got two blocking fours there, so the four will be in that square. What else goes here and here? Uh, two nine, we've got nine blocking here. Here's our nine in that square. This will be a two. Um, so we will be left with fives in these squares. Uh, missing numbers are three and six. No, threes are there. Six is, no, no. No, the three and the six can't tell, so I can block the five down here, but that's it. Uh, what's missing across here? Um, five, six, eight, five, six, eight. How about it? One in each co column. That's no good, is it? Five, six, and eight. Um, so we know the eights are there, but that doesn't help a great deal, I think. looking for six eight nine I think so sixes are down here again we've got one of each one eight one nine here hmm.
Okay, I have a, a, a slightly longer look, but I must admit, I think I'm going to be, it looks like it's probably going to be pencil marks again. Now, I know this was five and six, so this has to be two, four, and seven in those squares. Don't see which is which. Uh, down here. Um, twos are in those squares there. Fives are in any square. Sixes are in any square. Sevens are down here. So, so I think this is I think this is a pair of five six here isn't it um, isn't it uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine. yes one two three four five six seven eight nine. yes okay so we've got a pair of five and six now come on do something <laughs> do something please uh, that's five or six. It means, oh, uh, yeah, of course, I know that's five or six anyway. It doesn't mean anything. So this square and this square is not five or six. Must be four or two. And that is as useless as a chocolate teapot. Useless. As far as I can tell, you may have seen something else, but I don't see uh, what else. What goes up here? We've got twos in those squares. We've got threes in these squares. We've got fours up here. Six is still in any of those squares, though. Eight is here. Nine is over here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the pencil marks because I'm not really sure where to go forward here. I'm going to put in these sevens while I remember where they go. Uh, obviously, we can do this was five and six here, wasn't it? And this was seven and nine, I remember. Uh, and we also had sevens in those squares there. Nine nines are there. Lines are somewhere up there and there. Uh, across here we have twos here. We have fours in those squares. And we have sevens in those squares. Twos are there.
Um, okay, so I don't see anything else in terms of pairs. Have I got anything really useful here? Um, I don't see it. So uh, let's go ahead and finish off. So uh, what do I need here? Um, I'm still looking for sixes, six blocks across there. So six goes in those squares. Uh, that could be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, in this block, two blocks up here. So candidates two can appear there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks across here and up here. So we have three possible squares where eight could go. And then nine. Uh, we have no restriction on nine. Over here, one is done. Two. What do we know about two? Anything from down here? No. Four blocks across here like this. Five blocks across here. Six. not seeing much uh, this is done this is done let's come down here two blocks across here so we have twos in those squares five can go anywhere this is not a pair of two and seven of course because we got two up there five can still go anywhere and six I remember can go anywhere I said before didn't I uh, I think that's true isn't it yep six can go anywhere I think that's it. Seven, eight, nine. Yes. Yeah. So this is our five, six pair. Oh, of course, I've got to get rid of the five and six. I forgot I mentioned that, didn't I? Uh, we had a pair of five and six. So this is a pair of two and four. Let's see if that makes a difference across the top. Uh, Okay, so actually we have pointing sixes down here now, so we can remove candidate six from there. Um, so hopefully that will be a worth having. Two, five, seven. Okay, uh, right over here then, uh, we're looking for twos and they block in this pattern. So let's put the twos there, three, four, five blocks down here like this. So we have fives in those squares. Six, seven, eight, and nine are done. And there's just this to go here. So this was three and six, wasn't it? 
Okay, so all stuff is in now. Okay, immediately now we have a pair of two and five. Now that I've got rid of the excess candidate, there we have a pair of two and five here. So this has to be a three. And uh, this is going to have to be a six to finish the column, uh, finish the row, sorry. So that gives us a three there and a five there. So hopefully we've done enough there. Nine goes here, three is in this square now. Let's get rid of candidate three there. Um, right, uh, we've got nine here, so let's get rid of those nines, shall we? And that will leave us with four and six in those squares, so let's get rid of the six. Huh? What happened there? Let's get rid of the sixes there. And so now we can see that has to be a two, and uh, this has to be an eight. Uh, this will be an eight, nine, uh, nine up here. So let's do a little bit of removals. Um, let's place the eight here. Five there, six goes there. 5 is there, 6 is in that square, 6, 6, 4. Um, uh, what have we got? We've got the 2 here, so this has to be a 5. Uh, this is a 2, back up here for the 7, 2 there, 9, 7, 6, this is a 9, uh, the missing number along here we've got 6, 7 and 5 so that's got to be a 2, it means you're a 2, you must be a 5. And five finishes it. So it took me a long time uh, at the end there. Um, but anyway, that's our Los Angeles Times Expert Level game for today. And uh, if you get a chance to smell something, do it on my behalf. Go and smell some coffee for me or smell an orange or something that smells really nice, some flowers or something like that. <laughs> and uh, send your thoughts to me. That's it. Bye-bye.